コタロウニーちゃんようこそ。What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? My name is. BLUSH man, also known as Blush Sama, also known as Blush Tama, also known as One, also known as Ukyo, also known as Rain Cloud, also known as Pain, also known as Pluto, also known as Ra, also known as 88, also known as TM29, also known as Hero, also known as a lot of things, dude, a lot of things, it's been a lot of things, also known as Jack. Also known as.、Um, welcome. We're back to. i n t r o s are getting better, I think. We're back to play more Terminator Resistance. That dope game about me running around like a chicken with its head cut off or a chicken trying to fly.、Um, we haven't quite yet nailed it, but I think with enough、um, spirit. Um, regular spirit and teen spirit, we will reach the highest of peaks. I don't really remember what that song was about, but it was probably depressing knowing Mr. Kurt.、Um, but we're not going to think about that now. We're just going to play the game.、Um, also, a little bit sad that when we had the resurgence of the, the downer music. Um, the writing was not on par with what Nirvana was writing, but that's neither here nor there. Not many writers were on par with what he was writing. And I love listening to his interviews because he was such a fucking asshole. Like, he was such a condescending prick, but you kind of forgave him because he made such good music. And, you know, he was right about a lot of things, a lot of things were bullshit. Was he a little bit too doom and gloom? Yeah. But when you're hooked on drugs, that's kind of how you get, dude, when you're frustrated. But I love how, what a fucking asshole he was to all these supposedly smart people that were interviewing him. He was just like, you're stupid.、Um, but if you want to ask me a stupid question, go ahead, stupid face. And it very, it's very fun to watch. <laughs> and every now and then he actually has fun in a conversation. It's time to heal. It would be interesting to see Kurt Cobain at the Met Gala. And I keep bringing up the Met Gala because honestly, I don't know of any other socialite situation that I could throw him in. Or the Oscars or something. He probably wouldn't go to those. Oh, my fucking controller's breaking. But just trying to get him somewhere where he, does, he definitely doesn't want to be would be funny. I'm already almost dead and I just started.、Uh, fuck this game. Do I have a. I don't have it. Stupid. This place is stupid. This game is stupid. Switch guns. Look at how many shots it takes to kill these dudes. You better not be able to see me. That's what I thought. Now、right, give me your motherfucking ammo because I need it. We don't have people like Kurt anymore, man. I mean, we do, but they don't talk.、Oh. And if they don't talk because they're smart, I need them to be just as smart as they are, but a little dumber. Because I need to know they're alive and well. And if I don't know you're alive and well, well, then how am I supposed to have any faith in my situation? Just being smart and staying away from everybody and everything. I don't know how I'm supposed to keep living. Think about me.
What am I supposed to go out there? The codes. I gotta go get the codes. Alright. I'm gonna just sprint. First, I'm gonna try and sneak. That didn't work. Alright, so then I'm gonna crawl over here. And. Oh! Right. Which way is he gonna go? More of them see me? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm dead. Alright, dude. Fucking stupid ass game. I better not have this hard of a time in Dishonored. But I've been doing pretty good so far. I haven't uninstalled a single game except for League of Legends when I play that every now and then. Because League of Legends is a game you should absolutely... Ah, words. League of Legends is a game you should absolutely uninstall after you're done playing it. That's how I found I can have the healthiest relationship with it. Because even though I go on and sometimes I have fun, most of the time I don't. It's just better to uninstall that game. I would suggest the same thing for Counter-Strike, probably Valorant, and then Call of Duty might be a bitch, so you just leave that one on and maybe um, maybe just take out like a program file so it doesn't work and you gotta, you gotta re, um, whatever that is that they do when they check and make sure all the files are proper. But that's how you should handle those games. I don't know how I went from Kurt Cobain to that. But, um, helpful tips and tricks with Blush. Thank you for joining me. It's going to be the same bullshit as it always is. Getting ready for pirate radio as soon as the uh, populace gets sick and tired of all the run of the mill social media sites. And everybody starts making their own IP address that they buy off the black market, hosting their Alex Jones isk, esque, and um, other compromised radio shows and podcasts, because it's going to happen. So I'm just preparing myself. I'm not going to do it because that I don't know how to get a make my own domain or IP address, but I could try. It's going to be a great time. And it's going to be hilarious because that's exactly how streaming should have worked. So everybody could actually make money and not just a few people. But instead it's just going to be like pod political podcasters and then very weird people. I haven't given any more thought to it, but I'm... Sh oh, wow, dude. Let's just bring the whole fucking team to camp. Let me check my map. Am I supposed to do this? Where's the thing? What? The codes. How do I get there? Is this the place I should have gone? This is where I was. And instead of going this way, because I'm pretty sure my map said something different, I went this way. And now, look at I'm surrounded. It looks like Kogias. And I am not louche. But I would fuck the shit out of CC. Alright. We could probably go keep going up, maybe. Or should we just go back down? I'll go up, because if I die, I'm just going to start back here. So I'll save time. Alright, play the bits. <laughs> Jump, skip, hop. Okay, can't go past there. Am I supposed to do something with that? Yeah, dude. We don't have time for that. We also don't have ammo for that, and we don't have health for that. Oh, fuck. It's a flamethrower, bitch. Let me know in the comments below if you know any way to make money off of streaming from your own domain. So you can take power away from the big people and you can give it back to yourself. I can't think of anything. 
But if you think of anything, feel free to not tell anybody and just use it for yourself and leave all of us in the trenches. You shouldn't have seen me. Alright, I can do this. Run! I can't do it if you don't run! Oh! Later, bitch. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. Got somewhere to be, and I'm dead. Okay. How could you make money off of that? You would have to charge people to watch you. That's the obvious way you make money, but if you're just starting out, nobody's gonna pay to see your stupid ass talk about stupid things. <laughs> Sorry. It's not happening. I don't even wanna pay to see sexy girls naked. Um, there's no way I'm paying to see a guy talk about some, oh, they spawned me up here. Okay. So how else could you make money? You'd have to charge people, which ain't gonna happen. You would have to um, get a sponsorship, which also, if you're just starting out, probably not gonna happen. There are ways you could do it. You could get that shit to fly. I think the only way that you could do it, just starting out, is by yourself it would be hard but if you had a group of friends you would have to just be a little bit more um, I don't want to say diverse but uh, you'd have to be more well-rounded as far as like the content you put out like you probably need some homie that's like really good at social media and making those stupid little fucking songs or sorry it's not stupid that's how you guys have to market nowadays but just marketing yourself as a streamer and then you probably need like some sort of incentive like even if you don't have the incentive with you you could just make some shit up you could find some money depending on how you do it <clears throat> but nobody's gonna go for that when they could just sign to twitch and get millions of dollars like a lottery of hopes and dreams <laughs> absolutely zero people are gonna the other way. Sorry, guys. Bunny up, man. I'm dead, dude. I don't know how. I'm I might have to run all the way back. What should happen if this was a place that was um, for the people is one of these big guys with lots of money should fund maybe like five to ten streamers they really believe in give them their own place and their own agency and treat it like the music business except not the music business because we saw how that worked out they should just forever get a small cut of what they do but that should be the end of the contract you can do whatever you want i'm gonna get a small cut forever and also i'm not liable for anything i think that would be a good contract to sign i'm almost dead already look at that as long as they sign those two things, like, hey, you get 15% as, like, finder's fee or an enabler fee or whatever, and what the fuck just hopped on me? And then, also, I'm not liable. Anything you do, I'm not responsible for. Anything you say, I'm not responsible for. I'm just giving you this money this one time, and that is where our relationship ends, besides you paying me 15% of whatever you make, because I'm the one who helped you make it. I think that would be cool, but that would require someone with a lot of money to... Uh, go the route that's going to be more work and less money but hopefully one of those bold bold people is born at some point because that's how it should work 
And that way, you know, you can actually build on the infinites that is the universe instead of just consolidating it into stupid little San Francisco box apartments where nobody can breathe and there's people fucking naked on meth right outside. Like, if you, if you do it the other way, you could actually have, you know, you could expand on the endlessness that is the web. <laughs> Instead of fucking slicing up borders as if we just got to America. And the British are like, yo, take everything. <laughs> take it all. There's a lot of land out there. We need to plant our fucking flag and invisible lines in it. Hurry, before the Spanish get to the other side and meet us in the middle. This is a race against the people who are right next to us. Don't you know that? What's up, dudes? I, my controller doesn't work. I can't even fucking run anymore. Quick before these idiots realize that the internet is a huge place with infinite space. Convince them that it's just a couple of websites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. oh, there's people over there too. And they're gone. Ha ha! They're right there. So, this is why I couldn't. Dude, I don't know how many fucking controllers I've had to replace. I bought something. I don't think it's a DualShock, but it looks exactly like a DualShock. And I think they're just like um, charging, not charging cords, but. uh like wired headphones they're just like designed to break on you now just randomly I haven't dropped it I might have dropped it like twice but my joysticks just always fuck up on these things it was 20 bucks but still that's a weird thing to fucking break when I played Xbox and Halo super tough my joystick lasted for like so I want to say like eight years I used it so much that it was just a nub. It was like a Markle B pen and all I did was sit outside fucking drawing on things. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to fucking fight all these stupid little heathens? No, leave me alone. Alright, so I'm going to go forward first, because to the left are two Terminators, and I'm going to see if I have a point of something that's not dead. Oh, look, look what it is. <laughs> I'm alive, and I'm going to die, because I didn't know that. Oh, dude, you get juked. Alright, you think this is a good hiding spot? Yo, come on, man. Now, get, please. I'm asking nicely. Oh, I can't even get in here. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I'm just going to hide here. After I hide here, before they walk in here, I'm going to save. I'm not detected, but thanks for letting me know. Look at this! This isn't a fucking first person shooter. There's no one on the planet who can convince me that's what this game is. I feel like I'm playing Demon Souls. Stop taking pictures.
think that's what that game was called. See, looking right in here. You better walk the fuck back. Nothing. Alright, so we're not going to break those boards and go out that way. That's for sure not happening. But we are going to look in this cabinet out of curiosity. Oh, fantastic. Shouldn't have even looked. It was um, Shakespeare's closet, apparently. Okay. I have zero points. Could definitely use some points right now as far as XP is concerned. So if I go here, that probably leads me right in where I need to be. But there's a Skynet gate, and my dude's too stupid to hack it, even though it's just Frogger. And if I go here, there's about uh, half of the Chinese population waiting for me to shoot me in the face. All right, I got half a health bar. And I'm gonna break this, it's probably gonna make noise. Let me see where everybody's at. Right at the punch bowl. And there's a turret right there. Did they hear that? I don't even know what the point of sneaking is because it doesn't work. guys have some fucking satellite vision and when they walk around like that just randomly to different points I can't get any method down I'm about to go look at the reviews for this game after I beat it because this is all some bullshit look at this how are you gonna <laughs> yo how are you gonna sneak by this how much ammo do I have I have 168 bullets and it takes 117 to kill one terminator if I can sneak up behind him, I could use this stupid knife, which I'll probably fuck up. Can I add this somewhere? I'm going to add that right there. But it's not going to work because just watch how they move. Hey, look it. He sees me. I'm behind like five rocks. Look at him. Being a little fucking bitch. Look at that! That was two seconds! I'm dead. I'm dead. I got stuck on the fucking thing. Fuck it. This game is stupid. Do I have a difficulty? I'm not gonna change it. I don't think I've ever changed it since I became um, an adult. Whatever that word means nowadays. Um, but I wanna see. Ah, I can change it. Time to change it off camera. So talk about random shit while I die repeatedly over and over again. Um, apparently Lil Nas has gone the way of Christ. And I, I was never into Lil Nas. I never gave a fuck about him. Um, I might have heard a couple songs. But I definitely heard about him being super into Satanism or whatever. But well, not super into Satanism. I mean, having Satan-themed videos. Because I guarantee if I asked... 80 
5% of the people who have Satan in their videos, they don't know a damn thing about Satanism or paganism. So it doesn't even fucking matter. They just do it because it's funny, it's troll, and then, you know, maybe there are some pagans in Hollywood and they're like, hey, he's a cool guy, let him do his thing. I don't know why I'm starting to do that voice. Oh. But whatever. But, but I heard um, I heard a snippet of his thing. And his, that shit is fire. 1-800-CALL-JESUS or some, something. <laughs> uh, besides the name being like the stupidest thing on the planet, the song itself is fire. And then I was remembering his other songs that I've, I have heard. And I didn't like him. I didn't ever like him. I didn't ever hate him. He was just like there. And I knew he was there and popular. But out of all the new kids who are making music, despite the sad couple of years where we lost a bunch that were making music, he's probably like, in my opinion, he's kicking all your asses. He's like getting all of you the fuck out of here. As far as talent is concerned. Even some of the old, older people, the generation right before him, that sweet SoundCloud spot. He is better than most of you. And that's just coming from someone who enjoys music a lot. Hey, could my controller just like stay the fuck on? Thank you. But he is definitely better than most of you people who are making music right now. Y'all need to step your shit up. His shit sounds fire. If you're going to take it back to the SoundCloud era, you better at least make something dope. Of course, the song sounds dope, but what you're talking about is just the same old shit, man. Give me some like crazy melodies. Give me the dopest instrumental. I think that's the problem. The flows are pretty good nowadays, but the instrumentals that you guys are picking are so fucking sad. <laughs> it's like the shittiest shit. Thank God we have Lil Nas X and Kanye coming out with some shit because instrument, ugh, the beats are not good. <laughs> of course, the top dogs always have dope, dope shit. Drake always has dope shit. J. Cole always has dope shit. Kendrick always has dope shit. But for a lot of the dudes who do like the vibe music, the uh, the mumble rap, I guess we call it. I don't know if we call it that anymore. Um, not good instrumentals. Not good. I know because the kids have like eat and stuff. They think it's good. It's not good. It's not good. Objectively, it's not good. And um, personally, you can feel however you want about it. But just know that when you walk into the real world with real people who really understand music, it's not good. The beat maker will tell you themselves if you try and compare them to someone like DJ Premier or um, fucking Nujabez <laughs> or or any of those. No, nah, it's not. It's not good in comparison. Objectively, which is factual. From a musical standpoint that is factual, it is not as good. But Lil Nas is getting y'all the fuck out of here. I like his new shit. I don't care if he's repping Satan or Jesus or the fucking AI of Nazareth. It'll probably be cool. Because at this point, it's all just a big joke. I don't give a fuck what anybody's doing. Go! And Doja Cat. Doja Cat is our lead and is trying, and she's getting most of you guys to fuck out we here. Got a problem. That HK is but she's functioning. older. I can't get near. Whoa! Okay. I couldn't handle everything before this. You think I'm gonna do anything to that? Alright, I got it. Give me that. Laser guided missile trajects according to the laser marker. Okay, that makes sense. Control the missile's trajectory by aiming down your IR sights and marking your target with the crosshair. Okay. You can damage HK tanks by firing rockets into the generator located on their back. Additionally, HK tanks can be disabled for a few seconds by firing rockets into its head. Got it. Uh, to uh, dude, calm down. Okay. Bring your energy down a little bit. Does that mean they're going to show up like... Are you just saying that? Is that like a line of dialogue or are they really going to show up if I take too long? But it is the perfect time for music to go back to fucking, or at least hip hop, go back to fucking uh, 
SoundCloud shit. Just like right when shit is really popping off politically. And people are like, really like, yo, I've had it up to here with the school shootings and the and the bombs being dropped and the fucking high prices. Perfect time for us to bring the SoundCloud back, the SoundCloud era back, just to not talk about anything at all. Beautiful. Well done. Couldn't have done it better myself. Good job. <laughs> way, way to rep for the team. Is this his back? Or is that his head? No. I got you. It's going to take me a while to get around, but I'm going to shoot you in the back. Knife will not suffice. Oh, that was his back. The music sounds great, though. The music sounds really good. I just think that hip hop is tone deaf right now and it, you know, it makes my heart sad. Oh, there's reinforcements and shit. Definitely know someone's gonna be like, it's not my fucking job, dude. I don't do that type of shit. Someone else can do it. I hear dope shit like that all the time. And it's like, yeah, but nobody. Of course, they make super dope shit with messages, and you don't need to do it all the time. But I mean, like, if you have an opportunity to say something because you're one of the very few people who made it that far. And you have that many people listening to you. Maybe every now and then you should just come get off of your fucking still horse and uh, say something productive. We could party and bullshit all you want, but at the end of the day, Pac and Biggie are both dead. So, uh, who else is gonna say some shit? <laughs> The guys who were saying shit can't say shit anymore because guess what? The kids don't want to fucking listen to a dude in their 50s giving them OG game. You might because you're in the game and you were raised on them, but the kids don't. The kids don't give a fuck about Public Enemy. They don't even know who Public Enemy is. They might listen to Wu Tang because Wu Tang is so well branded, er, branded, but. They're not listening to Wu-Tang to the extent that to listen to some people, I tell you that. The power supply rivers, it's running back. I mean, Wu-Tang's doing business things anyway. They're not they're putting music out like that. Someone's probably gonna get pissed at what I said, and if you're getting pissed, then you're probably one of the bitches who ain't doing shit. You just keep information between you, your friends, and family. And you just fucking laugh with meatballs falling out of your goddamn mouth while a bitch is twerking in front of you. So you can suck my dick. That is a letter from me to you. What's up, little dude?
I mean, I hear celebrities all the time say they want to get tra treated like regular people. Guess what? I talk to regular people like this. If I think you're fucking up, I'm going to let you know I think you're fucking up. So if I ever meet one and you complain, because the way I'm speaking to you, I speak to everybody like this, and you shouldn't have said you want to be treated equal because I'm treating you equal. I think you're fucking up. I'm going to let you know I think you're fucking up, and I'm going to tell you why I think you're fucking up. And if you got a problem with that, you can complain about it, or we could have a nice conversation. I just did to somebody today. I thought they were fucking up, so I said some shit. Because that's what you should do. And I think people with mainstream success right now in hip hop are fucking up. That's just what it is. Does my opinion affect your life in the least? It does not. Does my opinion affect the fans' life in the least? Who is mad that I might be talking shit about mainstream hip hop because they like to listen to Yeet and fucking Lil Uzi Vert and shit like that? It does not affect their life. Both of those dudes make good music. And I didn't even say they need to be all about a message. I just said every now and then, say something. That seems like a pretty fair fucking agreement. Hey, maybe one out of every 20 songs, talk about some shit. Not some I'm hooked on drugs and sad, because we've heard that message. You never go in depth personal. I think, you know what, Yeet had this one song, I think it was, um, I think it's Stronger Than Everyone or something. Like, that was some pretty good shit. I don't remember what the song was called. But you just start fucking slow, dude. Some of these people haven't said a real thing in albums. Like whole albums. Whole seven year periods. I'm trying, man. Billie Eilish is more successful than 99% of you, and she says real shit. Fucking shit. And it's still pop. See, that's a great example of someone who could say real shit and still have it be a fucking vibe. Like a toxic party. Take some fucking notes. Going around. Here's the back. Oh. He's looking right at me. Rocket, run. Rockets. As if I wasn't. Oh. Oh. Dude, fuck this game, bro. <sighs> At least Kanye tries to say some real shit. He's off his motherfucking rocker right now, but I think he's dialing it back in. I understand people like that. He's gonna go. He's gonna go on a tangent. You know what? There's this thing that needs to be addressed. There's. I don't think we know enough about mental health because obviously what Kanye said is wrong. He shouldn't have said it and it's it's not good, it's not healthy, it's not productive, it's nothing nothing good. But when someone clearly We've got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. Alright, but when someone clearly is struggling with something and we have Kanye's history, like down pretty well because he's always been a vocal person and he's always been a super passionate person um he's actually the best case for things like this getting stuck into that far right wormhole um 
you would think that instead of trying to figure out like why people get stuck into this wormhole when they were like chilling before um, you wouldn't just like cancel them and try and like fuck up their life because they said a bad thing like do you think he's a bad person because I could see that if you want to fuck up someone's life because they're legitimately a bad person like Hitler we would fuck up Hitler's life that's totally fine Hitler was a bad person but I don't think Kanye West is a bad person. I don't think many people would say that he's a bad person. So, I mean, there should already be a science behind how convincing the conspiracy theory... Like, I've jumped into the conspiracy theory shit. And it's if you're in a particular state of mind, that shit is super convincing. Because if you don't know enough or you're just not in the greatest of places... And you're angry anyway. That shit sounds like. You're like oh all of this makes perfect fucking sense. I already didn't like the way things were. And now I have a reason. To not like them. And something I can cite. Even though it's not real information. Because it's a conspiracy theory. I have a source I can cite as to why I don't like them. So instead of going and figuring out that psychology. And trying to figure out how to help those people. Get away from that psychology you just like cancel them and they get even angrier so it kind of seems to have like a detrimental effect to everybody else who isn't part of that rabbit hole because now i gotta worry about motherfucker that you canceled going somewhere with a gun or maybe just doing something that's gonna fuck everybody's day up because you were like oh my god this motherfucking villain and then you, you threw him in a fucking corner And now we all have to deal with the consequences because you don't want to, like, properly educate people. You just want to hand them a motherfucking pill and be like, all right, you are suppressed. You are cured. And then, like, what? What if they go off the medication, dude? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Not only is he in a rabbit hole, but now if he goes off the medication, he's going to be twice as crazy. You know how hard it is to get off medication and get through it without more medication? It's not easy. So it's kind of like, are we approaching this the right way by just canceling everybody that um, that does that? Obviously, he shouldn't be congratulated for saying shit like that because it was wrong. You can't blame all Jews for anything. You can blame some Jews, but you could also blame some black people. And you could also blame some Chinese people. And you could also blame some Korean people because there's good and bad in every fucking place that you look. It's just part of it. But the more important part that we need to focus on is we need to see how we can handle mental health better and just situations better in general. (laughs) It should be pretty, well, it's not simple, but it should be pretty fucking simple to come to that conclusion. Like, okay, this, there's something on the far right that is leading people to it and making them change their personalities very drastically. So maybe we should do a little bit of fucking taxpayer research into that because that seems like a problem to me but I'm just a guy from a place just saying what I think I'm pretty sure I hit you in the fucking head dude I guarantee you, if we just fast forwarded many, many years, all most of these people on the far right, if you took them right now and you fast forward them into like to when they're 95, they wouldn't feel the same way about people. They wouldn't hate the Chinese or Jewish people or black people. I guarantee you they would have changed that too. And if they get to be that old, they're not gonna hold on to any of that hate. Because but once you have death knocking at your door, you let go of a lot of shit. You really, you're like, oh, none of this was important. But if we could get them there before they're 95, or before they do something to get themselves killed, that would be fantastic as well. But so far, they don't get any help. They just get hate because they said some things that deserve hate but the person doesn't deserve hate. They just get hated on and then put in the corner and then they just say, you are banned from places and people. It's like, how the fuck do you expect that 
super far right wing shit not to flare up. You're just throwing people in the corner like a goddamn kid. Have you not ever raised a kid? Do you understand the type of parenting? <laughs> this should be fucking common sense. But then again, they tell me, politics is for the politics. And why does he not get stunned? I shot him in the head twice. And so that means we gotta change our politics. And that's a whole nother can of worms that I don't know how to fix. I'm not a politician. I'd be fucking Ned Stark for Game of Thrones. I'd be like, hey, or I'd be fucking JFK. I'd get on stage and I'd be like, all right, guys, we're about to fix everything. Right through my, <laughs> through my fucking head. All right, that's all for me tonight, folks. You've been a great crowd. Good night. Get shot by a SoundCloud rapper. I'm trying to make a TikTok. Okay, I'm just gonna let him kill me because I'm running out of stupid rockets. I shot. Where's your fucking head, bro? Okay, I was. No, I don't have enough rockets for this fight anymore. I also don't have enough time to run behind it. Oh, actually, I do. What if I throw things at it? doesn't do a damn thing. Still functional. I can't get near. And on a side note of something I'm not going to go into much more, um, I think that we need to seriously take some steps back and acknowledge the fact that the human brain is slowly evolving over time and we are growing more intelligent. So seeing as how we don't know shit about the human brain really um maybe it's time to add a little bit more spiritualism into science because it is entirely possible that depending on circumstances and situations and certain events something could turn on in your brain that makes it harder for you to cope with your current position or place um and if you ignore that, only bad things can happen. But who knows? We'll let the scientist men do that. Yeah, I got it, dude. I've been trying to do it for the past 20 minutes while I rant about shit that nobody cares about. Or at least they do care about, but nobody watches. Except for one six. <laughs> Yo, I, I just picture the one like fucking 16 year old dude who's like actually watches my shit for some weird reason. What's up, dude? Thank you. I appreciate your continuous support. And he's just like, what the fuck, man? Hopefully I didn't convince him to do anything stupid. Hey, if you're listening, bruh, 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 don't, don't follow my advice unless I say this is good advice. Also, um, stay in school. Stay off drugs. And overall, be a great person. Keep being you. You are enough. Thing I've been doing. Okay. I'm gonna crawl. I can get the first hit for free because he's not paying attention. After I get all of these things. Should I heal? I'll just go ahead and heal. Bum, 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 
I'm going to try and watch that movie, The Killer, tonight. Um, I think it's from someone who made... Oh, it's from the dude who made Fight Club. I'm going to watch it, and hopefully it's not too fucking weird. Because I'm not ready for, like, some Fight Club level strangeness. Hopefully it's just an action movie. Because if it's not, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to watch some motherfucking anime. Top floor? Yeah, man, whatever the fuck you just said. Is he just gonna constantly be looking over here, or is he gonna turn any further? Oh, fucking K. Wow. The attention paid by these fucking bosses is so bullshit. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Quick isn't something that this dude does very well. So, just give me a second. Yeah, got it. More enemies, because I couldn't just have this one tank to deal with. I need the whole entire fucking fleet showing up. Look at this. Now when you die in like three seconds, what do they expect you to do? Are they just gonna hang out all the time? Oh, okay, that's good. Did they just go invisible? No, oh, no, they are gonna stay the whole time. That's awesome. Heal, heal, dude. I need change your gun. This is not doing it for me. Yeah, I'm a little fucking busy at the moment, man. You can just relax about this power supply thing. I'll get to it. It'd be beautiful if you came out here and you fucking helped. Why don't you shoot a rocket from long distance? I'm gonna need this ammo that this guy got on his back. Hell up. Oh shit. around. Don't just be cheeky. So I'm guessing I gotta kill this guy with four rockets. What are you doing, dude? Can you come into the open? Thank you. At least he was polite.
Run, my man. Run and jump. And fire. Hide. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, dude. Now we're firing rockets. Can you tell me when he's not firing rockets, or should I keep running? I know how I'm gonna do this. If I die, I got it. I got it all figured out. I got it all figured out. Look at it, it's a fucking flamethrower, bitch. Alright. He's not dead yet. Am I dead? Oh my god. You need to take a nap. First off, you, you sent a single man to try and take this thing down. And I'm not Master Chief. And I'm also not Shepard. You sent fucking Jacob from Nowhereville. I'm gonna keep this rocket launcher though. I'm just gonna fire this shit at anybody who crosses my path. I'm gonna get this ammo first. Can you imagine if I died over here and it made me do the whole thing again? Don't imagine it, because I don't want it to happen. Alright, I'm going to go the way with no enemies. Later, boys. Oh, shit. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. They're so polite now. All right, you can go. Okay. I was gonna let you tell the story, but whatever. Solidarity, my brother. What's in front of me? You can't walk past this? What's going on? Why? 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 What is happening? No time to play. I need this to be my gun. Now I just need infinite ammo and it'll be a fun game. Nah, we can make room. We can make room for some shit. Now I'm not gonna make the mistake of saving this for some different type of boss cause I always make that mistake. I'm just gonna fire this in anything that I see, like I said before. There's too many. 
Heal first. Jacob! What the f Is am I am I playing wanted? Oh, it's because I moved, huh? Is my game frozen? My controller turned off. That was the biggest amount of bullshit I've ever seen in my life. Where am I? You can destroy wooden planks. Thanks for letting me know that. I'm glad you thought it was important to tell me that. Okay, stop moving up. My controller is breaking. can't get in a comfy spot. I need a chair where I can lean back and forward at the same time. <laughs> Do they make those? I need like a like a 33 degree angle <laughs> type of chair. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I just have to like adapt to playing games on the ceiling and I'll get like a little projector and I'll just lay on my bed. If I could figure out how to make that work at some point. Maybe I'll try that. Because the Kama Sutra position that I'm in right now is not working. First off, I'm by myself. Second off, it's not sexy. Third off, my whole body is starting to hurt. Are you fucking kidding me? You better go down with him. You don't get to just keep walking. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. What the fuck? Domino, bitch. Tell him, Jake. Jake sent you. Jinx. Yo, why haven't any of these Instagram girls done Jinx from Team Titans? They've done Starfire and Darkfire, but I have yet to see a Jinx. That was one of my favorite characters. Can you guys do that? Can I get a Jinx in here? I've seen Raven. There's probably even been a Terra somewhere. But I haven't seen Jinx. Or the Bumblebee girl. Come on, y'all slipping. Get your plays up. Get your OnlyFans up. Get your cosplay up. If I was a fine bitch, I would be out here doing all the fucking random B characters 
and my shit would be fire. I'd be in the top zero one percent. Be thinking outside the box. Nah, the basic bitches are doing Starfire. Let me get this jinx off. Nah, not League of Legends jinx. That's basic bitch shit. If I'm doing League of Legends, I'm gonna get that Syndra off. <laughs> I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. I would be fully out of my way. Out the way, out my way. Security codes now. Strike again when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass produced. This guy looks like an infiltrator. Before that happens, that infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless. Uh oh. Unless what? Oh my god. Unless it was a real person? They will finish the TDE. Dude, not that one. Finish what? TDE. It's almost as bad as. That's what I was gonna say. It's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that, you'll be watching your. Sounds like a mail order bride. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is geometric. Really big. So if it's <laughs> what? What the fuck can we do now? <laughs> it's we starting to learn like a circle. <laughs> Triangle, you could square. Start oh my! They finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron, uh, geometric dude. Oh shit! I'm supposed to kill. I'm supposed to kill Mac or warn Mac or ask Mac about Baron. So my my wife said kill him, but honestly he just gave me a lot of good information. So I'm not gonna kill him. Cause he just protected us. And we need a hacker on the team. Cause whoever the guy is who never takes his goggles off in the squad chambers is not gonna cut it. And I'm gonna ask What him. happened between you and Baron? Years ago. Connor gave an order to infect Skynet with a virus. To do it, we had to reboot a T-800 model I was trying to reprogram. I warned them that I wasn't done and that the Terminator was fully functional, but they didn't listen. So, as expected, it went online and sent our coordinates to Skynet. But not only that, it attacked and killed Perry. Oh, shit. Baron took it personally because they were... An item. She's been holding a grudge ever since. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna kill him. Sorry. Sorry, wifey. She sent me to kill you. I'm not going to do it. He just said, oh. <laughs> what a cool guy. She'll send someone who oh. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Oh, alright. If what you're saying is true, huh. <laughs> I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. Oh, huh. do you have that CPU I asked for? No, I couldn't get it. I have a little I thought so. in Alvin, <laughs> but let's hope he'll put that chip to good use. Our lives might depend on it. 
I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you and go see Farron. Plasma! Plasma! That would be my rapper ad lib. Plasma! My backpack's full. Suggestions. I'll empty some stuff out. Plasma! I have three different types of Terminator guns. Okay, no, I'll, I will drop this one. Plasma! Hey! We were smoking on that plasma. Plasma! I started seeing ghosts. Ghosts? That's right. What did they look like? You couldn't see them. Commander. I had to feel them. It is. Plasma! I've been smoking on that ectoplasm. Give your body spasms. <laughs> Got you seeing dragons. <laughs> Shit you can't imagine. Oh, dude, I could be a SoundCloud rapper. Oh, my gosh. That was like... If I had money, I'd go to the studio with that right now. Hey, controller, can you fucking turn on? Okay. I don't know if I should talk to her first. I'll talk to her first because it's taking me so long to get through the simplest shit in this game. I gotta, gotta put hour. it in. Who? Sergeant, are you Only one hour? I'm at least worth three. You fuck a peasant. Excuse you. Hey. 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 Well, we get our best shot. Hour and thirteen is not bad. What time is it? Know your target and what's behind it. And what else? I think these ones have a five second fuse. Do you need anything? Uh, yeah. See your hardware. Plasma rifle, second generation violet plasma cells. Do I need to keep this stuff? Like, if I sell it to him, can I rebuy it? I can. So I'm going to keep the rocket launcher for sure. Where's the gun that fucking overheats on me every three seconds? Fire rate damage, plus 10, plus 21. So that does 86. This does more. Uh, this does 85. Okay. That does 140. This is 125. And this ain't, <laughs> this ain't do shit. All right. I'm going to sell that. I have a pistola. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy every health pack the man has. And then where are his pipe bombs at? I have seven already. Okay, oh, 200? Oh, I'll use it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to figure out how to get to where I need to be. It's like a damn maze in here. Ryan and Green Guy. All right, I'll go talk to Ryan. I'll go talk to Alvin. I'll go talk to Aaron. Where's Jennifer? Where'd my wife go? Hey, turn back over here. This is it, huh? No more turning back. Whatever happens, you know what? It's probably bad luck to say goodbye, right? Yeah, man. I need to find... my wife. Alvin, you seen Jennifer? Hey. They gave me a rifle? I don't even know how to use one. They said it's hot, but it doesn't seem hot to me at all. All right, I'm just going to leave the room before you get me shot. Yo, they said it was hot. This shit cold as a motherfucker. <sighs> Nervous? Don't worry. We'll be right behind you. Baron wants us to set up a field hospital. So if anything happens, I'll meet you there. What happened to my wife is what I want to fucking know. Did I miss something? Rivers. Just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out? You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. We're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed. What happened to Jennifer? <laughs> okay. Well, the game is saved. So... Clearly, I'm not the best husband, but we can work on that. There are other women to practice with. So we'll see if things go smoothly with Baron. She seems like she's busy right now. I'll let her cook. And then when she's done cooking, I will do the dishes. Because that's what a good husband should do. So until, <laughs> until then, with that um, part's going to be a part. <laughs> Without any further ado, you know I bid you adieu. <sighs> and until next time you dig, stay plasma. Bye.